Hi, my name's Jane Lawson. I'm an artist and I'm standing next to a piece of work that I made earlier this year, which is a five metre long timeline which shows the development of the global financial system since the evolution of Homo sapiens quite a long time ago, up until um, earlier this year. Obviously, it's quite heavily edited to get that time scale into five metres. So, what I was trying to illustrate were various things. Was um, First, that the system that we have now is very recent and therefore it is not necessarily permanent. Um, and then secondly, I wanted to illustrate how neoliberal policies, when they're implemented, lead, as far as I know, inevitably to greater social inequality, greater suffering and generally um, a bit of a disaster for whatever country they're implemented in. Also, they don't tend to lead to economic growth consistently. They lead to smaller economic growth, even though that's one of the main uh, apologies given for, or justifications given for implementing them. So, after the Second World War, um, the setting up of the Mont Pelerin Society by Hayek and Milton Friedman, uh, both of whom taught at the University of Chicago, and both of whom then trained up a lot of economists who went out into mainly Latin American countries and implemented their policies there. So the first one they did it in was Chile after the, uh, after the coup in 1973, and then in Argentina, same thing happened right. after the military took over. And then we have the, the greater implementation of the more wide implementation of neoliberal policies um, in the 80s through Thatcher and Reagan, and that basically means deregulating, selling off state enterprises, and attacking trade unions and working conditions. What next? What are you doing next in terms of artwork, and are you going to update this? Um, I would love to update it. Uh, but what I would like to do next is get my head around the steady state economic model and make a diagram of that for my own better understanding and, well, know that it may be useful as well for other people.